want to pray for you. You're all from Guinea. Huh? Yes. You came together. No, the I four of us came together. Four of you. I want to pray for you. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. So I want God to help you today. Huh? Okay. Hmm? Yes. And there's a certain spirit that is want to destroy all of you. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Don't be afraid. Um, God is going to help you today. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Did you go to the doctor? Again? Did you go to the doctor? Yes. Huh? Yes. For HIV test? Yes. Huh? Yes. I want to pray for you. And I believe God is going to help your family. Thank you, man. Are you hearing me? Thank yes. You. So, because even this one is sick. Yes. Even this, this child is sick. So, but I want to tell you that there's nothing that is that can defeat the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Are you hearing me? Yes. Thank you, Father. So, God is going to help you. Okay. And you must know we love you so much. Amen. Thank you. Amen. God is going to help you. Okay. Because on you, there are people that are not happy about your marriage. Are you hearing me? Yes. yes. And you, let's pray because I saw a spirit that is also trying to press you. Yes, it's true. When you are sleeping. Yes. Try to, to sleep with you. It's true. Are you hearing me? Mm. And this same spirit that is giving you bad dreams. Yes. And I'm seeing dead people. Yes. So I want to pray for you so that God must move you out of this cage. Amen. Because I'm telling you, there are people that are fighting your marriage. Yes. Thank you. And after I pray for you, the has already prayed for you. This case is, I mean, it's, it has been reversed. Amen. 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 It has been reversed. Mm. But, my brother, huh? is this your first wife? No. Where is your first wife? She passed on. What killed your first wife? I'm really not sure. But because, she was sick. Because the reason why I'm asking is because now they want to kill this one. When I'm asking you about seeing dead people already, already they are, they are taking this lead. Already that I want to congratulate you because you came here. If not, this lady, she was not going to reach June. Thank you, man of God. I'm Thank telling you, you, Jesus. The way they are feeding her when she's sleeping. Thank hmm? you, man of God. The way they are feeding her, feeding her in the night. It's true. I'm telling you, she was not going to reach June. Hmm. Thank you, man of God. And these are the people that are in your family that they don't want you to have a wife. Thank you, man. If I tell you who's doing this, you'll be shocked. Mm -hmm. So, but today, the Holy Spirit has set you people free. Amen. Thank you. Thank because you, Jesus. This, uh, but you also must, you must put your life straight. Huh? Thank you. Because I'm checking your life in the past. Huh? Yeah, thank uh, you. Are you hearing me? Yes, I say, am. I'm seeing your life in the past. Yes. Huh? Yes. You are doing like this. Yes. Huh? Yes. Put your life straight. Yes. So man. that these people must be ashamed. Yes. You people, I don't want to speak many things. I'm not here to, to shame anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm yes. here to bring solution in your life. Yes. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. So God has heard your prayers. You are healed. Amen. Thank you. Lift him up. <laughs> you dim. Sometimes you're losing appetite. Yes. Hmm? yes. So when I'm praying for you, I'm hearing that you're losing appetite. Yes. Huh? Yes. So this, your wife, how she has been killed, 
now the same spirit want to kill this one and this you made this spirit to be strong by yes men of god because you know people of your family yes you people in church huh you can tell and look at me people of your family they want to kill you because they think you've got money yes men of god are you having money uh, not that much i don't <laughs> have money <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes. They want to kill you because they think you've got what? Money. You've got money. And to me, I'm not seeing money. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. Do you know what is money? Yeah. You know what is money? Yes. So I'll pray for you. God, God has helped you already today. Thank you, you man of God. Thanks a lot. So I'm sure Thank I didn't you. mention, I didn't say anything. In Jesus' mighty name. Bring him here. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce Jesus. the person next to you? I'm Godfrey Kangulin Rabura. I'm from Giani. The person next to me is my wife, Slendi Lenkuna. And the daughter is my daughter, Chimangazo Rabura. And can you tell us the prophecy you received from the prophet today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy which I received was true because he proved that we are HIV positive and uh, that's true. Yeah. And he also talked about the issue of your first wife who was killed and the people that are doing this. Yes, he also said about the, uh, the wife who passed on and uh, he also told us that uh, we must uh, quickly engage and get married as soon as possible because there is a spirit which is uh, uh, troubling us not to get married together with my wife. And also the issue of uh, your old life that the man of God said you must fix your ways. What was he talking about? He was uh, talking about maybe womanizing, going around with a uh, other ladies which have already refrained from that and then as men of God have told me I'll continue to live my life straight without doing anything wrong. And how was that affecting your household? It was affecting my household because when my wife find it out she become angry and she just start crying. Yeah and then up until we realized that uh, we are positive then uh, is then i decided that i must i must stop all those things and concentrate to rebuild my family that's why we, we decided she decided that we must come here and have deliverance and uh, healing so that our family can have a better life from now onwards and uh, he also told me that i must leave those past uh, behavior of womanizing and concentrate to my wife. That's what I'm going to do and what I've already started. And you also mentioned the fact that the people that are after you to kill you, they think you have money. Were you aware of that? On that one, I was not aware. I was not aware of people who are behind me because they think that I've got money. So I'm just realizing it now when the prophet telling me that there is people who are behind me, killing me, and behind killing my wife. Yeah, I was not aware. And now that uh, God has told you what you're supposed to do with your life, what is it that you have decided to do? Once again? Now that you have heard the mind of God upon your life, what is it that you have decided to do? I have decided that next week before Friday we must go to home affairs and engage ourselves in marriage and then from there we will have to come back as the prophet have told us to bless our engagement for the marriage and then from then i will live my life with my wife and the whole family to have a better life and we continue with our family 
living fair life, both of us. I'll continue loving my wife and my family and stop the past which I was doing. I promise that in front of my wife and in front of the church here. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? My name is Lindile. I'm coming from Guiani. The person next to me is my husband Godfrey and this is my daughter. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from the prophet and also confirm it? Uh, the prophet said uh, I do have a spiritual husband and um, seeing this uh, spiritual husband to come and have an affair with me in my dreams and I confirm it to be true. And also he mentioned the fact that this, this spiritual husband is bringing forth bad dreams and also you are seeing dead people and also you see yourself eating in the dreams. Is that true? That's very true. I always see uh, dead people in my dreams, like my family members who have died. I always see them in my dreams and I also eat in my dreams. So I confirm the prophecy to be true. And for how long has this been happening and how was it affecting you? It's, it's, it's a long time. It's a long time. I don't know uh, <laughs> since when, but it's a long time. And it, it was affecting me that in such a way that when I dream of all those things, I will be very angry when I wake up. Mm. And the issue of your husband womanizing, how was that affecting you also? Yes, that was affecting me very much in such a way that uh, we didn't have good relationship at home. When I think of that, I become angry at him. Yes. And what is it that you believe God will do for you as you have received this prophecy today? I believe that God has um, delivered my family and he has healed us. And I thank God for that. Yes. Mama, you're also healed, eh? Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because you, I'm just, it's like there's something that's eating your blood. Are you hearing me, Mama? It's true. Hmm? Yes. So, I'll pray for you. You are healed also. In Jesus' mighty name. Mama, can you tell us your name and where you come from? Kamala mean jala ko ringu na mana shona mo ma kuin. Eni na flor Florence ko na no ma ka no ma gian. And can you tell us the prophecy that you received today and also confirm it? Kamala mean jala le shum funis bangam jala shona ka sukura na muntla mitla mi shi ti si sa ko ishona kumbe aishona na. Nzero ko ba bona ni kare ni 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 swanga ati ni so. And Okay. Mama is saying that uh, the prophet told her that he sees her that she dreamt uh, someone uh, giving her blood to drink, which she confirms to be true because her life has been very difficult, has been very tough, and she had gone to the hospital and they told her that she is HIV positive, and now she also has TBs and the things that looks like lumps all around her neck, and these lumps they started to come out from July in 2018, and always when they come out they. When they go, they come back. They never stop coming out from her. And this has been affecting her very much. So that what the prophet has said upon her life today. And when did these things start to happen? In July last year. Wednesday, August, 
August to come up in positive. Last day. Eh. Eh, so so many documents. Kim misses that um, she did an HIV test in August last year. That's the reason that she decided to come here today uh, for prayers. And now that the man of God has prayed for you, do you believe that you are healed? Amen. Amen. So did he tell you what killed his wife? No, he didn't. He never told you? Huh? No. So you want to die also? No, I don't want to die. You don't want to die? Wish. You demon. You know Florence? Who's, what is this? Hmm? Hmm. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out, demon. Come out! Your spiritual husband. Come out! You demon. Come out. You also took this girl to the doctor? No. Huh? No, we didn't take her to the doctor. The spiritual husband. Come out. Leave those legs. Come out. <coughs> Lift her. Come out, you demon. There's a lady from a place called Renfontaine. Come out, you demon. <laughs> 